Good morning, good day, good evening. It's Grail from Grail Construction, and today we're going to be going over a few of the things that you need to know before navigating the menus in Construction Simulator 2022. Now, with the game, you'll have, of course, continue, start, settings, credits, news. News will take you to any of the newest things that are coming out. The credits, I advise that you go and find these people and give them a thank you because they did a great job with this game. Settings, of course, is going to be your general settings, video, audio, and online settings. You can also block players. Audio, master volume, dialogue volume. This is for the cutscenes and such. You can even set your radios and get your radio links set here so that you can use them in game. Uh, radio outside of the vehicle. So this will play the music even though you're outside the vehicle. You have this turned on and you have it set to no radios only play when you're inside of the vehicle the video the v-sync all these things this is really up to you it's up to your computer your specs and how you want to run the game and then of course general is as well also up to you personally i keep cursor off when i'm playing the game um, you don't have to do this but i do because i'm only using the cursor to move the camera around uh, data processing, I would agree to this just in case something happens to your game. So, at the start game, you're going to have your profiles to make. And of course, you can make three profiles. And then within those three profiles, you can actually make two different companies. If you want to use the Spaceport DLC, you'll have to start a new company and go to the Spaceport going to start you over from scratch but it gives you a big chunk of money to use as you see how i've got three different profiles all with different times all played different um, each one is just a different map of course you know i've got my european i got my uh, my european my american and my spaceport dlc so this is how i did it here if you want to modify your character you're going to have to do it in this menus here with the start game don't hit continue and expect to be able to modi modify your character have to go to start game go to your character and right click this is how you can modify you can even reset the skills or delete the person completely and start a whole new profile so i'm going to go to gray wolf right click modify now i can change his appearance base colors of his, his uniform his helmet even the logo glasses hearing protection all of these things can be adjusted and as soon as you're done you can accept and it's done i can reset the skills so if i want to reallocate the skill points that i put in i can do that here reset you'll get all the skill points you've earned you can redistribute them later in the game if you want to reset your skills now yes now that we reset our skills we can't allocate them because we have to do it in the game you do reset your skills you're gonna have to reallocate them in the game okay for our menu for our profile go to our skills I would advise putting money into some of the following good business sense okay it's gonna increase your uh, your bonus money your contracts uh, bulk material, so I would increase this as well. 45% bulk increase. Bucket capacity as well for excavation. I like to dig a lot, so these three skills right here. If I was going to stick myself with only nine skill points to use and limit myself to that, it would be these three here. In the profile section, we have skills, which we just went over. This is where you're going to find all of your skills and your points. Every you level up you have points to put in these skills and i advise that putting it into good business sense first then maybe going to bulk uh, capacity because this is also going to translate into money asphalt capacity if you're doing a lot of road jobs or bucket capacity if you're doing a lot of soil moving earth moving and these two are symbiotic as well as this, this these three right here the first nine levels i'd advise doing this so that's skills Manuals will show you the manuals of the vehicles, the manuals how to operate the game. Progress bar will show you progress 
for campaigns for your character. This is progress. I believe this is progress for the European map. This is in progress for the overall. progress for the entire game of this character so I would have to also unlock the uh, American map and the spaceport map for this character and then we have stats and stats is what you would expect it to be I will have one company under this profile total XP is 56,000 Total progress is 25%. Time in purchased machines, nine hours. Time in rented machines, 216 hours. That tells you that I have rented almost everything that I have used so far. The company. So we go from profile, which has got our stats, has our progress, has our skills, and our manuals. Company. This has our milestones, and these are milestones featured or things that you're doing in game. So, regularly clear the building material dealer of stock, and he'll show his appreciation with an ever increasing discount. So, the more stuff that we purchase from the materials dealer, the more discount we get in the long term. Right now, I've only got a 7% discount because I haven't bought that much stuff taxi this is for fast traveling so fast travel is a popular way to switch between locations using regularly to receive a discount on its cost so when you fast travel 100 times you get a 30 percent discount on fast traveling which is for me really helpful because i'm renting the vehicles and then i'm fast traveling to the site <laughs> rent the machine okay we surpassed this regularly you rent uh, construction machines from the vehicle dealer and after a while he'll give you an ever increasing discount so we're at the 30% discount for renting machines. I've rented enough of them. So at this point, renting machines is actually really financially smart for me. Uh, on top of the other discounts I've gotten for concrete and gravel, I think renting machine and hay taxi work hand in hand, as well as my skill in good business sense and bulk material and bulk capacity. But mainly these two here on top of this discount and this discount make renting a super important part of my financial success in the simulator. So we've seen milestones. Now finances is going to show this graph here. And it's going to show it by week. You can change it to month. You can change it to year. Okay. So we started off on month one. I think our, our capital was what? As you'll go through this, you'll see your um, your capital at the time was 800 my revenue that month was 186 or 184 and my expenses was 20,000 you'll see the spike here was a revenue of 1 million so we must have completed a huge job my capital at that point was 2 million because of that um, and my expenses was 418,000 I believe that's from material, renting vehicles, purchasing vehicles, and it spiked again right here, where my expenses was 933,000, and my total revenue was 22,000 from a capital of 2.2 million. So I put my capital down 1.3 million, and then of course protected the 1.3 just barely because my expenses, again, was way more than my revenue. Money transfers can be done, so you can take from your company and put it into your personal. Personal balance follows you into the multiplayer games. So let's say 200,000. I'm gonna withdraw it. That's now in my personal account so when I go to multiplayer games I'll have this much money and when I go to my current game I'll have this much dis disposable cash to use. Now if I want to withdraw I want to deposit I'm going to put 600 
thousand into my company account. So I've got one million in my company account. Now we can float the rest of the month through without having to take out a loan. Okay. It won't reflect here yet. So that is your finances screen. Now we go to warehouse. Warehouse is gonna show world warehouse goods issue. Okay. This is everything that's in the world that you have bought. Okay. If you have it highlighted, you click store all, it will store, store all of them all over the world, even if they're on a construction site, on a truck. The only way they will not be stored is if they are already placed on the element that was required for the campaign, or the job, whatever you're doing. There was a time that I took these sandwiches and I placed them all over the map because we were gonna make like a, a racetrack. And it took us about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to get the whole track set up. It was really cool. We took the, the orange race car through the track. And we're like, all right, this is perfect. But we still had a trailer full of them. And I wanted to just store those only. So I came here, clicked on it, and store all. And it stored every single one that we had placed throughout the world. So in the world, store all. We've got that figured out. Warehouse. These are all the items that are in the warehouse that you currently have. Okay. And by left clicking or right clicking, you can select or deselect. Left click, right click. Left click, right click. It shows a red here, which means that these are required for a job that I have accepted somewhere along the way. I'm going to need these pallets of sandwiches. Same with this corrugated sheet. I'm going to need them. That shows me how many I have in the warehouse as well, in this little icon here. See the house number? It has three of these here, so I can take three out if I wanted. I can't take any more than that. It says I have one stored, so I can take one out, but no more than that. And same with the steel beam. And of course, as you can see here, with the sandwiches, as I said earlier, this was all the sandwich, I mean, 54, we, we had placed them all over the map to make this really cool racetrack. So if you thought I was kidding, that's where they're all at now. They're in my warehouse and I can take six out right now. Okay. So we have six selected. This again means that they are needed for the contract that we currently have. And we go to goods issues. Now I can sell them all, get some money from these six. Or I can deliver it to the yard at no charge at all. And if I have the auto load feature, auto load it onto a truck that's in the yard. If I go to construction site here, I can deliver it to the construction site. So we go to warehouse, we have our six selected, go to goods issue, and now we can either sell these, okay. This is just going through the money. Here we go. Money's in. And we sold six of them. So we go back to the menu, company, warehouse warehouse. Select six sandwiches here. Goods issue. And now we're going to deliver these to the construction site. Okay. Takes up the delivery fee. And if we go to the construction site, that's where they're going to be. Now we go to, so that's the warehouse. We've done milestones. We understand milestones. We've done the finances. We understand the finances. Now, warehouse, we understand world, we can store these. In fact, they're highlighted right now, so I can hit store all. And they're back in the warehouse. Okay, now jobs. You may have a couple of jobs here. Okay. When you're on the jobs, you're gonna see offers, campaign, these are the big deal jobs. These are the ones that have the characters that have many different jobs with them. As you can see, once I click on one, it has these huge jobs and they aren't always the easiest ones. Each one has its own unique little story. And to unlock the rest of them, you have to complete the one prior, okay? So I have to do this, to do this, to do that. This guy here, I have to do this one, to do this, to do this, to do this. Okay. Then 
once we complete these jobs here, once we're done with all of these, we can go to the finale. And there is a finale on both the US and the European map, as well as the DLC map. Oh, and we have this new DLC called the Airfield, which is another campaign in of its own. Vehicle Fleet. Let's go over this real quick. When you click on the Vehicle Fleet, this is your vehicle list. This has all the vehicles that you currently own. You'll see the house icon means that they're stored. Okay. Any vehicles with a clock means that they're rented. So what I can do is hit return on the rented vehicle. It will charge me for the cost of time I rented it. If you store the vehicle, the rental costs will keep coming out. This icon will be here. You'll still see the clock, which means you're still getting charged rental fees. So you want to return it. You can return it while it's stored in the vehicle hall. And then upgrade levels. Here's another cool thing that they added to the construction simulator. You start off with upgrade small, and it shows you on the left side, there's a pan here, pane here with uh, three goals. So one of them is to own three construction machines. Another one is to buy the company premises two, which is the second company premises. And then another one is to do an expansion contract. Meet all requirements for upgrade levels to unlock level M. So once we go from small, you'll see these become available to unlock as you complete these goals. Then we go to, to medium, upgrade medium. So after you've completed upgrade small, go to upgrade medium. Now we have five goals here. You gotta complete one of the campaigns. And that was over here. The jobs, offers, campaigns. So as you can see here, we completed cultural heritage. So complete one campaign. Own 12 construction machines. This is where you see that spike in my finances. That's from this right here. Balance of 1 million credits. 25 fuel refills and 25 repairs. So if you're trying to avoid using the fuel repairs and the fuel, uh, the repairs and the fuel, re fuel, fuel fill-ups, I would suggest that just start doing them. And I, I think any amount of repairing and fuel fill-ups counts. It doesn't have to be completely empty or completely destroyed to count towards 25 of each. So then once you do that, you've unlocked this. So now Foreman has joined your company. You can now accept two contracts at the same time. So with this ability here, we can accept two jobs, as you can see, two jobs. But you notice that this third job is locked. And that's because I need to have this unlocked. See, all these are unlocked here, job station, loan. These are all unlocked because we marked these off. Once you unlock them, you have to pay for them as well. Now that we've done this, we're working on construction company large. And that means I have to complete two campaigns. I have to own 18 construction machines of machines. I have to have a balance of 5 million. I need to do 50 fuel repair, refills and 50 repairs. And you notice that this, there's not really a, a way to check to see your progress with these. You'll see the progress instead on the cards themselves, campaigns. So we just need to complete one more campaign and we'll have two checks. We'll have another foreman. Oh, she looks mean. My goodness, she looks bossy. Right, I like her. Construction machines. We're at 77% of the 18 we needed. Capital. We are almost at 50%. Uh, I need to do a little bit more work. Refueling. We're at 64%. And repair, same things, 50, 50%. So, job situation. You have made a name for yourself in the construction business. To me. Many of the brand new orders land on your desk first from now on you'll be offered three additional contracts we've unlocked this already parking three more parking options have been added to your company premises you can now store 10 plus additional construction machines at a time this allows us to have more vehicles stored and i believe overall more vehicles rented so that is the breakdown for upgrade levels that is a breakdown for your company now we go back to jobs. You'll see I have two jobs selected, and I have two jobs because I have the ability to have two foremen 
once I have this foreman unlocked, which again, like I said earlier, will cost you money, I will be able to have a third contract open and I can accept the job. This job here, okay, you see it shows us the list of what to do. The scope is set to high. This is the estimated earnings. This is the construction stages. And then this is the duration that it assumes it's gonna take. So it's a three out of five durations. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It shouldn't be that long. It'll show you the location on the map where it's located and it'll show you the materials needed. So this is the shopping list of everything you need for the job. And what we used to do on Construction Simulator 2015 was we would go to the vehicle dealer. We have one guy list off everything from the job needed and then another guy in the store buying it and another guy on a crane and a forklift loading it on a truck. And if we click on this one, same thing shows the list, shows us the scope is set to medium, estimated earnings, Stages are 10 stages, but the time is still the same at three out of five. Materials list here, much bigger than before. But of course, some of these materials like this, maybe you have to be picked up somewhere else. Same with the wood beams. But most of the stuff should be available at the materials dealer. Click on location, shows us where it's at. And the housing estate is right here. Now, when I'm in the main menu here, and you can't see it because my camera's in the way, but going to notice that is the job that we're currently watching, which is the warehouse construction uh, stage number one, which is the three beams. And we go here, but we're going to notice that the eyeball is set to this warehouse. So this is the one that we're watching. If we right click over here, we will have the option to then eyeball this job and see how it's going. So we can just right click and it'll show us this. Zero percent. This is how you're going to be able to keep an eye on the two to three different contracts that you have open. So you'll just go to your jobs and right click between which one that you're trying to keep an eye on. Especially if you're a host on a multiplayer game and you're trying to keep up with the guys that are running the jobs for you, this will be helpful. Just remember right clicking, you can choose which one you're keeping an eye on. It also shows you materials needed. You can go to the materials purchase it all, ship it to the construction site, which I recommend, or load it on the truck yourself. Now we go to map. The map's gonna show you your icon here. Whatever you change your shirt to is gonna change your icon, your carrot. And in the map, you're gonna see a lot of these little like purple question marks. These are places that you have to unlock. So you'll see on the icons on the map here, once you unlock them, be able to fast travel to them. You'll also see the green cone icon is your current contract that's accepted. Here you'll see a plus one, plus 13, a plus one, plus two, whatever you see there. That just means that there's different options to scroll through for that site. So if we click on this warehouse, we have an erecting crane there that's the plus one. We can enter this right from the menu. So we don't have to go down to the construction site to enter the vehicle we can enter it right from the map. Same with here on the company premises, it shows there's plus 13 other options. So you can see we can scroll through our 13 vehicles that are currently open for us to jump into. And we can enter them right from the map. So say you're on a pretty big construction site, say you're nearby and you wanna jump into a machine but you don't wanna open the vehicle menu and try to find it where it's at. Just go to the map, click on this, and then you can scroll through which vehicle you want to jump into. Now I believe we're standing next to this guy. Since we're in the vicinity of it, it should allow us to jump right in without any loading screen. Okay, we'll do that again. Go to the map. We're gonna find another vehicle that's we want to jump into, let's say the crane. No loading menu, I mean, we're in the same area. So let's say I jump into, let's go into the, uh, let's go to the telehandler. Okay. On the telehandler's list, here we go, I'm gonna enter. No loading screen. Okay, and I just leaped. I mean, that saves tons of time. If you're doing a big contract and trying to save time, you 
say that you're trying to do like some kind of a quick run or something, you're doing fast travels and all kinds of stuff, that's going to be your fastest way to navigate through your vehicles rather than going to the map, company, vehicle fleet, finding it, where's it at, where's it at, where's it at, where's it at, and then jumping into it. You're also going to notice the fast travel option to enter. This is great. Say I'm over here at this construction site and I want to rent a vehicle. Uh, if I fast travel there, I'm going to have to go find the door and enter the door. If I enter, I can enter directly into the store. I can rent the vehicle or purchase it, which we're going to... Oh, I think I own So Let's purchase a vehicle. Let's do that. I think I'm renting one of these. Actually, you know what? I like this one. This is cool. So let's go ahead and rent the... Purchase this. See? <laughs> My, my mind goes right to renting right away. Actually, what is this little guy? Yeah, this is cute. Look at this. A little reloader. I don't know when I'm ever going to use this guy, but we're going to buy one. Okay. Say we purchase this guy. Now, we didn't have to fast travel to the, to the vehicle dealer to do that. Okay. Go out. Go to the map. Here. Enter it. Of course, it's going to go into the loading screen because we're pretty far away. But instead of fast traveling to the vehicle dealer, finding the door, entering the door, finding the vehicle, purchasing it, then leaving the door, and then coming out here to like find out where it's at, we can do it all from the menu. Look at this guy. What is this? This is this is one of the new machines. This is from the Kramer pack. This. Oh my goodness, we need some more, like, small-time jobs. I have a feeling I'm going to do some shenanigans with this little guy. This guy. He's so cool. Like, highly mobile. He's ripping for <laughs> it. Yo, this guy is so cool. Okay. So, now say uh, you want to store him. Okay. You can't really store it from the map menu. But if we go to our company, we go to our vehicle fleet, we find it in the list, Kramer. Here he is. And we can store him. And now he's stored away. These hammers, they are all over the map, they're everywhere. And you have to find them in the game to complete certain uh, completions and achievements. So all you have to do to collect the hammer is to go right up to it. Right. There we go. We've got one of the collectibles. If we go back to the start, we will be back at the main menu where we can choose a different profile, go to a different campaign map, we go to start game, start game, and we have, as you can see here, two different construction companies going on, and we can have a third one. So I can have USA, European, and Spaceport for just one character profile. And again, if you want to change the character's appearance, you just right click. Right click, you change it. Okay. So with that, guys. This is Grail from Grail Construction signing out, and I'll see you on the construction site.